in this
leadership qualities. So, it's our prime responsibility to follow the pledge. Now, I request my friend Gayatri to administer the pledge. First of all, I wish everyone a very happy Republic Day. India is my country. Yes, my country. All Indians are my brothers and sisters. All Indians are my brothers and sisters. And I love my country. I love my country. And I am proud of its rich and varied heritage. I am proud of its rich and varied heritage. I shall always try to be worthy of it. I shall always try to be worthy of it. I shall give my parents. I shall give my parents. Teachers and all elders respect. Teachers and all elders respect. And treat everyone with courtesy. And treat everyone with courtesy. I shall be kind to animals. I shall be kind to animals. To my country and my people. To my country and my people. I pledge my devotion. I pledge my devotion. In their well-being and prosperity alone. In their well-being and prosperity alone. Lies my happiness. Lies my happiness. Thank you. Now I request the dignitaries onto the stage. I also request our head girl and head boy to felicitate the dignitaries with a token of love. Very good morning. Morning, sir. Honorable Correspondent, sir, and distinguished chief guest, the most revered E. Srinivas Sethigaru, Madam, and his better off, and their son, dedicated teachers, and dear sweet children. Let me wish you a happy, wonderful Republic Day. Welcome. You all know that we are celebrating our 71st Republic Day. We started celebrating Republic Day from 1950 onwards. So when the Britishers left our country, there was the long procedure of transfer of powers from Britishers to Indians. It's a lengthy procedure. We need a constitution. Constitution is nothing but a set of rules and regulations which guide the government. The preamble of our constitution made the India Sovereign, socialist, secular, democratic republic. Sovereignty, the power to rule the people, was not there in the hands of Indians. It has, it has been grabbed by the Britishers. And we lost sovereignty for 200 years. For 200 years, the sovereignty, the right to rule, supreme power to rule the people, was there in the hands of the Britishers. And our national leaders struggled hard and hard. Finally, we got independence. So, Republic, you know, Republic is a state in which the supreme power is vested in the hands of people and the elected representatives and also have either an elected president or a nominated president. So, our constitution defines that every citizen of India is bestowed with fundamental rights and fundamental duties. We all know your fundamental rights. How many fundamental rights are there? Six fundamental rights are there. Right to religious freedom. Right against exploitation. Right to constitutional remedies. Six fundamental rights 
they are given to us and we have these rights. We have freedom, equality, religious freedom. We all have this. Constitutional liberty. Okay, we can protect our laws through constitution. And apart from that, you know pretty well, along with rights, we have certain fundamental duties. Just now, as the Chief Guest, Mr. Srinivas Reddy, accompanied by our correspondent, sir, and his backdrop, and myself, we all showed the great respect over national anthem. This is one of the fundamental duties. It's one of the fundamental duties. Second important fundamental duty is, in my view, safeguarding the public property. One more fundamental duty now has become very, very important. What is that, you know? To protect our environment. To protect our environment. That's very important. It's everybody's prime responsibility. So not only the rights, but you should also mind about them, your duties. Then we had to struggle. Our national leaders struggled very hard. We all know that. They struggled for many years to drive away the Britishers from India. This first thing will read Sir's profile and listen and try to get inspiration. Okay. So sometimes we have priorities, but the priorities may be changing. Okay? When the priorities are changed, don't bother. Put your mind on that priority and try to achieve the goal. So dear students, I conclude here my speech, enjoy the rights, but you have duties also. You know your duties, what to do, what to do. So you have been sent to school, why? Always think about that. And discipline is very important. We need all-round development. Let us keep this point in mind on the eve of this 71st Republic Day and keep on going in this path and keep our national flag flying okay with great honor long live long live long live jai hind thank you Let us march forward to a great tomorrow. Now, get ready for tremendous pulse to march past and let us see all the energy levels of all the house teams. Here comes the troops of all four houses. Michael, Gabriel, Raphael and Guardian and also Color Party headed by Head Girl Bhavana and Head Boy Jeevaraj.
exercise three.
Get on. Set. Ready? No moves?
chief guest, Malcolm, founder of the Sponsor, Principal Sir, and our guest. So I feel immense pleasure to announce the names of the talented children who showed their multi-talent in studies as well as sports. So I request our chief guest to come and give the certificate to them.
ninth class, Varshini, by Varshini of nine, first rank. Sai Kruma Nandu got second. Coming to tenth class, A. Vishnu Priya got first. Bhaveshwarya also got first. Zeva Mahesh got second rank. The winners, girls, D. Roshni and crew, please come on to the left. So, sir is a self-made successful person. 
Before I conclude the politic profile of Sir, I venture to extend my warm regards to Sir Padar Singh Vasudevi and his better half, Mrs. Chandana, on behalf of our previous management and staff on the occasion of 71st Republic Day and hope we'll take a leave out of your book, Sir. Thank you. It is the mark of great minds to say many things in a few words. It's our honor to have such great personality with us on this occasion. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks for the very warm welcome. Dear students and uh, respected teachers, the staff, the entire staff over here, and to the principal, honorable principal and honorable correspondent and my family, and everybody else who is gathered here. Uh, first of all, I would like to wish a very happy Republic Day to all of us. Uh, Republic Day and a free nation is a big privilege for all of us, one which we have to uphold every single day. Um, I want to first thank the students over here, especially in the center, for their fantastic performance. And, uh, Thank you so much. You guys have displayed a lot of energy here in the heat and you're still putting up with the heat. I won't keep you too long over here. It will be done very fast. Um, but thank you so much. Thank you so much for uh, coming on a Sunday and uh, um, coming in so very well dressed and putting up your best show for us here. I'm really, really happy to see you guys there. So I only have a couple of uh, a few suggestions or a few tips for you. Um, I remember being in your shoes, being in a school like this when I was uh, about your age. And you guys are very lucky that you have a great staff here, great set of teachers, and a very highly inspired uh, management here with, between uh, principal. Uh, Raja Garu, Honorable Raja Pantaradi Garu, and entire Pantaradi family for this entire, for this uh, very fabulous uh, social service that they are doing for the school. When I was growing up, uh, I had no drum, nothing like that. Now, we didn't even have this very well organized uh, uh, drill or uh, any kind of organization actually. We just had some uh, pledge and the national anthem and then we are just done pretty much. So this is awesome, this is fantastic. Very well, very well. Uh, you all should be very proud of uh, your school and your um, organization strength here and ability to demonstrate in a very, very fantastic way. Congratulations to you all. Now, uh, and also I want to congratulate all the students who did very well to come to the stage and actually receive a certificate and an award for their hard work. I'm very congratulations to all of them and I'm pretty sure they will do fantastic in their uh, journey of life. But at the same time, uh, I want to tell you one thing. When I was your age, my standing in my class of about I think 50 students was around 35 or 40 consistently. So don't lose your heart if you didn't come to the stage. You can still do fantastic. I did pretty well, I think, uh, at the end of it, even though I was about 35 to 40 rank consistently through up to 10th class. Um, and like uh, the lady who introduced me, uh, um, yeah, yeah she, she spoke a little bit about my background. And when I was your age, all I wanted to do was just play. Play, play all day long. And there's nothing wrong with that. And actually, I encourage you guys to play hard. Actually, work hard, but even play harder, right? When, you, when you're studying, it's very hard. But when you play, you play very, very hard. And that's, that's the most fun, being a kid and growing up. Um, so enjoy every day, every moment that you get in the sun and in the playground. And whatever your parents give you to eat, make sure that you finish the place. Make sure that you are not complaining, make sure that whatever that food is, it's good for you and eat well. Because without eating, you can't be successful. 
you got to make sure that you're eating well and you're eating healthy. And don't complain that, you know, that's not tasty or this is not tasty. Just eat whatever is in your plate, whatever comes your way. Okay? And play hard. That's the only way you'll be able to play hard and study well as well. So first, take care of yourself, take care of the nutrition. That's the number one thing in life. If you do that, you will do very well automatically. Everything else will line up. So just remember that. Always take care of yourself and your health. Uh, without health, there is nothing else. Um, and the only other piece of advice I will uh, tell you is that you guys are the future of the country. You are the future of India. We are actually rooting for you and we are rooting for your success. And we really want you to succeed big time because you are the future of the India. One day you are going to be the leaders and you are going to lead the country and we are going to cheer for you. We are going to cheer for you big. We're going to cheer for you just the way your teachers are cheering for you every single day now. Know that you know you have an opportunity ahead of you. There are so many opportunities out there. Just do whatever you want to do. Whatever you want to do, make sure that you are the best at it. Make sure you are giving the best that you can give me. No matter what you choose to do, right? whether it is sports, whether it is uh, academics, whether it is business, whether it is so whatever you want to do, be the best. Try to be the best you can be. Try to be the best in the world. And the world will come and stand in queue for your services. That's my only piece of advice. Whatever you do, you, you choose what you love to do. Whether it is arts, whether it is singing, whether it is dancing, whether it is sports, any kind of sport. There are so many opportunities out there. Any kind of interest you have. If you love math, there is plenty of opportunity in the man. If you love physics, there is plenty of opportunity. If you love chemistry, there are so many companies that are making fantastic chemicals and fantastic products using chemicals, mixing them and making up things. So no matter what you choose to do, aim to be the best. And, and don't worry about whether it appears to be important to the community or not. Right? Just be the best you can be. And that's will take care of itself. That's my biggest piece of advice to the students here today. And I wish you all the very, very, very best in your journey. Okay. And, and I'll tell you, um, my journey, it happened in a very similar way. I used to be wanting to, like uh, the lady who introduced me said, I wanted to be playing sports and becoming a coach, like your honorable coach over here, drill master, one day. That's my, that was my goal when I was your age. Um, but then uh, I went to a school, a college for uh, 11th grade, and for the first time in my entire life, somebody like this came over to the stage and spoke about how electronics and computers is going to change the whole world. And he fired up my imagination and he explained why they are so important. That how they will make us very productive, how they will actually connect all of us so for something like using internet. At the time internet was not there, but this person was able to fire up my imagination that one day everybody will be connected and we will be able to talk to each other using things like WhatsApp, using things like messaging and all of that even though they didn't exist at the time. He fired up my imagination so much that within a week, um, I turned my focus from focusing completely on sports to dedicating 50% of my time to education. And that changed my entire life, my entire um, direction in the way I took my career in my life. And I'm here today because of that one person coming and finding up my imagination. And I hope that I'll, I'm doing that for at least a few of you, that the message that I received was specifically to electronics and communication, but the opportunity that is there in front of you guys in 2020, when you grow up and when you look at life in 2030, it is going to be significantly different. The focus will be on quality, the focus will be on building neighborhoods, better neighborhoods, better roads, better infrastructure, 
making life easy for everyone, better for everyone, making sure we have all the, not only all the physical comforts, but also we are um, performing at our highest and becoming a great country and a great nation in the, in the nations of the world. That's the opportunity in front of you. And uh, um, I wish you the best, and I want to say, go grab it. Whatever you want to do, go grab that. I wish you the best. Thank you on that note, please. Thank you, sir, for your motivational speech. An ideal person is the one who innovative at his thoughts, modern at his behavior, constant at his character, ignore his success, learn from his failures, human at heart, and lastly, never forget where he has come from. An ideal person is the one who is ideal in respect of physical and emotional balance, behavior, and attitude. Now it's a time to announce the Archangels of the Year 2020. So, now I request our Honorable Gaspanin Sir and respected Principal Sir to reveal the secret. Chief guest, for a wonderful speech. Okay. So, know your uh, priorities. Priorities will be changing up and then. Okay. Once you focus on them, on certain things you have to focus. It's always there. Okay, then. And you know, sir, every year we adjudge the best student in our school and award him or her as Archangel of the Year. So again, we have come to this juncture to announce. Actually, it's a tough time for us as we have almost 500 strong contenders for Archangel of the Year. For example, almost all girls. Now we have two anchors here who are uh, doing exceptionally well. One Manikarnika, one Pavitra, and two girls you might have seen leading the color party. One is Vishnu Priya and the other is uh, Bhavan Ashwarya. These four girls are good at all things. And apart from that, boys are a bit training behind. And there are one or two boys like uh, Jaditya and others, Harshavardhan. And they are also disciplined. But we generally take all aspects into consideration and it's a sensitive issue also. And we take the first one, curricular activities, that is academics first, and co-curricular activities, games, sports, extracurricular activities, what they have some uh, aesthetics. All these we take into consideration and adjudge the best. And apart from that, we also take the school record into consideration. That means suppose a student joined this year only in 10th class, we cannot adjudge. So they, are close, they have been closely observed. At least five years of study should be here in our school. So, so all these uh, aspects have been taken into consideration and there was a tough contest among all these uh, names which I announced. So attendance is a must sir. At least 90% plus attendance should be there. Okay, and academics, at least they should be scoring A plus grade. And they should be taking part in a big activity. All these will take into consideration. And finally, and finally, this time the privilege has been given to me to announce. Any guess? So finally, it is, please count, 10. We will know it later, okay? Hey, Vishnu Priya of the Hey, Vishnu Priya, please come. Always cheerful girl, very good temperament, sir. I like her temperament. 
And one more thing, sir. One more important thing. Sir, one more thing, sir. She hails from a lower middle class family. Yes, yeah. yeah, sir. She knows the value of hard work. Well done, Mr. Priya. Keep it up. And you should also strive for this one day. When you are in 10th class, you try to reach this. It's a great achievement. Thank you, sir. So, please come here. They are all the strong contenders, sir. Let them award the prize. It's, it is uh, justifiable uh, that uh, Vishnu Priya is being awarded by Manika Dika, Aditra, Bhavana Surya. It's a good gesture. Thank you. Thank you very much. अफसोस नहीं जो तेरे लिए सौ दर्द सहे महफूज रहे तेरी आन सदा चाहे जान मेरी ये रहे न रहे आ, मेरी जमी महबूब मेरी मेरी नस नस में तेरा इश्क बहे फीका न पड़े कभी रंग तेरा जिसमों से निकल के खून कहे गुल बन के मैं खिल जावा इतनी सी है दिल की यार तेरी नदियों में बह जावा तेरे खेतों में लहरावा इतनी सी है दिल की यार सरसों से भरे खलियान मेरे जहाँ झूम के भंगड़ा पा न सका आबाद रहे वो गांव मेरा जहाँ लौट के वापस जा न सका ओ वतनावे मेरे वतनावे तेरा मेरा प्यार निराला था कुर्बान हुआ तेरी असमत पे मैं कितना नसीब वाला था तेरी मिट्टी में मिल जावा गुल बन के मैं खिल जावा इतनी सी है दिल की यार तेरी नदियों में बह जावा तेरे खेतों में लहरावा इतनी सी है दिल की यार
how enthusiastic and energetic the performance was. It was just brilliant. This performance makes me feel proud of my country even more. Now, I call upon the children now. Here is the boat of thanks by Usha. I invite Usha onto the stage. Myself, Usha, feeling proud to propose a of thanks. On this auspicious occasion, let's all be fit to ourselves and think whether we are fulfilling our fundamental duties or not. Let's ask ourselves what we can do for our country instead of asking what your country can do for us. Let's come together and march a step forward for a better society. Let's respect the constitution of free India. With this, I thank our dignitaries, teachers and my friends for joining us. Thanks for giving me this opportunity. Once again, a happy Republic Day. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.